Hi friends, welcome to my channel Anchor Lovely Mehrotra and today's video is really special because this video I have planned for all the wonderful mothers out there who put in their heart and soul to make our lives wonderful. So this video is a dedication to all the wonderful mothers on Mother's Day. So this Mother's Day let's take a pledge to take care of our mothers a little more than what we have been doing so far. And how could you do that? You can do that by making sure that she eats right, she exercises and obviously she gets herself examined for something like breast cancer. So this Mother's Day I decided to make a video on breast cancer and get an expert to answer all the important questions because sometimes it is very very important not to ignore you know symptoms that might be dangerous. So I got in touch with Dr. Pratima Reddy, one of country's best doctors from Bangalore to answer some questions about breast cancer. The word cancer in itself is so dangerous that we mostly don't discuss it. However, ignoring some symptoms in the, at the early stage can be really dangerous. So, I just went to the doctor and asked her to explain us, you know, what could be some alarming signs and what are the early signs that we should be really cautious about. And this is what the doctor had to say. So, lovely, firstly, thank you so very much for asking me to talk about breast cancer on this Mother's Day. Um, breast cancer has risen to alarming proportions in this country and it's extremely important that women of all ages, especially 30 onwards and in their 50s and 60s, to be very aware of what are the signs and symptoms of breast cancer. The most common thing that women present to me with is a lump in the breast, having noticed it either for the first time or having seen it grow over some time. They can also present with abnormal discharge from the breast nipples, especially a bloody discharge, a change in the size of the breast, a change in the skin color around the nipples, puckering of the nipples, but very rarely do they present with pain. Pain is really not an early symptom of breast cancer. So now that we know what are the early signs of breast cancer, I think let's find out is there a specific age group, you know, which has a higher risk of getting breast cancer. And this is what the doctor had to say. As I said, breast cancer is here to stay in this country. While previously cervical cancer was the most common one, breast cancer is the leading cause of female cancers. Now, the incidence is 1 in 28, which means out of 28 to 30 women, one of them will definitely get breast cancer in a lifetime. There's a slight variation in the women in the urban areas and the rural areas, with the urban women 1 in 22 being the incidence and 1 in 60 in the rural areas. The incidence starts rising in the 30s and peaks at about 50 to 60. So it's very important, women and mothers out there, that you are screened for this disease. So the next question that I had for the doctor was, can a mother breastfeed, you know, if she has cancer? And this is what the doctor had to say. The answer to that question, lovely, is essentially no. So if a woman has already started breastfeeding, uh, most doctors would recommend that she stops. And if she hasn't started breastfeeding, we would not want her to start breastfeeding at this stage because the very process of breastfeeding um, and the change in the breast in this situation can affect the prognosis of this disease. It has also been found, lovely, that women who actually breastfeed their children um, have a lower incidence of breast cancer. So in fact, ladies, not only will your baby be protected with an increased immunity from breast milk, but you will be protecting yourself and reducing your chances of breast cancer. So what should be done if breast cancer is detected when a woman is pregnant? I mean, this is a major cause of concern, right? And this is what doctor had to say. So if unfortunately a woman finds that she has breast cancer when she is pregnant, uh, it has to be treated because that is the primary thing. Now, surgery is completely feasible in all trimesters of the pregnancy. Chemotherapy should be avoided in the first three months of the pregnancy. However, in the second and the third trimester, chemotherapy is still feasible. Other drugs such as hormones or targeted therapy or radiotherapy is a contraindication and one cannot undergo these treatments during pregnancy. What are the risks of having breast cancer in pregnancy? Obviously, firstly, it's not a very nice thing for this lady. Whilst she's going through perhaps the most joyous moment in her life, she's been diagnosed with cancer. And with regard to the other risks, the risks that she may face with surgery or chemotherapy have to be remembered and discussed with her doctor. 
So while we are discussing this topic, I'm sure everybody wants to know is breast cancer curable or not? So this question was there in my mind as well and uh, I asked Dr. Reddy to give an answer to that. And this is what the doctor had to say. Lovely, when we talk about curability for any cancer, we're basically looking at five year survival rates. And if breast cancer is detected very, very early, we're looking at almost 100% survival rates. So yes, being vigilant, being aware and looking out for this disease will go a long way in lessening the problems associated with it and also improving the survival rates. So now that we know that breast cancer is curable, let's find out what steps can be taken to keep breast cancer at bay. Unfortunately, there's no one screening procedure or drug that can help us prevent this disease. However, it has been known that regular exercise reduces its incidence by at least 30%. So ladies, mothers out there, please start exercising regularly if you haven't already been doing it. Also a healthy diet with a reduction in the intake of fat, plenty of fruits, vegetables, all go a long way in reducing your risk. A reduction in the amount of alcohol you take has also been proposed in order to reduce the incidence of this dreaded disease. So let's find out what are the chances of getting cured if breast cancer is detected at a later stage. The stage at which breast cancer is detected is very important. As I said, the earlier we find it, the better is the cure and the chances of survival. So for a detailed discussion on this really, one would need to speak to one's own doctor depending on which stage the disease has been found. And obviously, logically, the later it has been found, the poorer is the prognosis or the lower are the chances of five years survival. So how many times should you be getting yourself checked? This was a very important question. And this is what Dr. Reddy explained. The two categories of women that need to be concerned about breast cancer. One, the routine normal population, as we said, the risk is pretty high in the background. And the other one are the women with a family history of breast cancer, especially of a first degree relative who's had breast cancer before the menopause. So for the vast majority of women who may not fall into this uh, category, they would really need to be doing self-breast examinations, not because that is any longer the recommended thing. Please remember that whilst previously we recommended that, we don't recommend that routinely to detect breast cancer, but we would still advise you to do it just because you would be more familiar with your own breasts. And therefore, if there was something abnormal, abnormal you would be the first one to report it to your doctor. The second thing are the routine mammograms and the scans of the breast. And this is different for different countries. In America, women have it done once they cross the age of 40. In the UK, it's beyond the age of 50. And in India, we really start perhaps at about 45, where we advise mammograms to be done routinely. So my last question to the doctor is, what are the food items that one should eat and what are the exercises that we should do regularly to keep breast cancer away? As discussed previously, lovely, certainly exercise has been found to reduce the incidence of breast cancer. And this is someone that every something that every single woman owes to herself to remain healthy. So any kind of exercise, whether it's about three or four or five times a week of any nature, but certainly moderate exercise of at least 30 minutes per day is recommended. With regard to your diet, Remember to increase your intake of fruits and vegetables, which contain a lot of vitamins. And remember, these are natural foods. We don't really want you taking supplements over the counter. Lovely, thank you once again for inviting me to talk on the subject of breast cancer. It is indeed extremely important uh, in today's climate that women are very aware that this cancer is now here to stay, as I said earlier. And it is something that can affect any one of us. So ladies and mothers out there, I hope you will look after yourself and take away something from this little talk of ours to be able to help yourselves and those around in order to reduce the risk of this disease. And obviously, if somebody has been diagnosed with this, with it, seek early treatment um, and hopefully be cured of it. Thank you once again, lovely. 
So hey guys, I hope you liked this particular video. It was informative enough. However, if there, are, if you still have any questions, you can leave the comment below. And uh, if you feel like writing to me, you can write to me at lovelymehrotra2 at gmail.com. You can also connect with me on different social media platforms. Uh, I am there at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and G+. Plus, Plus uh, you can also tell me in the comments below what kind of videos do you want me to make. And I would love to, you know, uh, take, take your advice and maybe make such more videos like that. And uh, before I leave and sign off, here's wishing all the wonderful mothers a very happy Mother's Day.